Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel, we hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show you top 6 amazing new 2024 cruiser motorcycles first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. Twenty twenty four Honda Rebel eleven hundred T body style with character. The Honda Rebel eleven hundred is expected to be able to maintain its existence with the arrival of the Rebel eleven hundred T DCT in its ranks. It is hoped that the twenty twenty four Honda Rebel eleven hundred will still be the dominator among casual cruiser enthusiasts and continue prioritizing power and modern handling to compete in its class. Honda has released a great new product for twenty twenty three creating something more challenging than the Rebel 1100, which is extraordinary, with the Rebel 1100 T-Pocket as a new competitor in its class. What to expect for 2024? Again it's about the design and colors that see the most updates, it doesn't escape the phenomenon every year when a vehicle is available for sale, our predictions are the most important about the color that will be highlighted clearly. Colors Update Honda has not leaked the official color for 2024. Still, we have conducted trials on the Rebel 1100 body by combining the earthy orange and dark green colors to give an attractive and bright appearance, a more profound and elegant impression of the 2024 Honda Rebel 1100. Engineering Rebel is equipped with cruise control like a high-class cruiser that can travel miles without worrying about traffic engine type 1,083 cubic centimeters liquid-cooled 22.5 degrees parallel twin four-stroke. Twenty twenty-four BMW R18. Tweaks to the R18 range, aside from the addition of the new standard fit intelligent emergency call feature are largely limited to color tweaks. The Baser 18, starting at $14,995, gets a new velvet green metallic instead of white for the option 719 version. There are also small changes to the color options on the $17,995 R18 Classic, and the newer 18 Roctane is added to the range at $18,695. The R18B, starting at $19,945, gets the option of a new racing blue metallic paint scheme as well as a new, black option 719 color, while the range topping, $23,995 R18 Transcontinental also gains the racing blue option and the option 719 version, carrying a $2,999 premium, is white for 2024. In brief, the Roctane feels like a stripped-down R18B with a minimal wardrobe and a bit more attitude. It loses the handlebar-mounted fairing and gives the integrated hardbags a more up-to-date color scheme, read, no pinstripes, while the front wheel grows to a custom-sized 21 inches and the rear hoop to 18 inches. Other current styling trends can be spotted in the briefer front fender, no doubt to better expose the distinctive cast alloy wheel and a subdued, blacked-out treatment on the drivetrain, which includes a dark chrome header and straight exhaust. But underneath the visual sleight of hand, the foundational elements of the R18 platform remain on the Roctane, with the air-slash-oil-cooled 1,802 cubic centimeters engine still taking up most of the canvas, buttressed by the same double-loop steel tube frame found on the R18 and R18 Classic. This time, it's the 2024 Honda Shadow Phantom. From fender to fender, this beginner-friendly Japanese cruiser features a number of styling updates to help it stand out on the boulevard. Both front and rear fenders have been reshaped for a more minimalist bobber look. Up front, the single round headlight is surrounded by a revised headlight cover. Honda has also upgraded both front and rear turn signals to LEDs. The 41mm telescopic fork previously featured all-black fork tubes and covers, and now the front suspension is dressed up with fork gaiters and matte-finished shrouds. Then there's a new handlebar and clamps. These are said to enhance style and comfort, and from the looks of it, it appears the handlebar is slightly less swept back than the previous model. Atop the two-tone 3.9-gallon fuel tank is an updated display. 
The fuel-injected 745 cubic centimeters liquid-cooled engine features machine-cut fins, giving a little more depth and contrast to the blacked-out V-twin. The air cleaner cover is also reshaped. Riders who plan on going solo won't have any qualms with this next update. Honda has swapped out the long one-piece seat for a new single seat and got rid of the passenger pegs. A new passenger seat and pegs are now available as accessories for those who plan on traveling two up. Another significant update is the introduction of an ABS-equipped Phantom for 2024. Both the ABS and non-ABS versions receive a new 276mm single rear disc brake. Previous Phantoms were equipped with a 180mm rear drum. The non-ABS model rings in at $8,399, add $300 for the ABS version. Kawasaki has officially revived the Eliminator segment in its home market Japan by launching the 2023 model. The automaker is also set to introduce the newly designed 400 cubic centimeters cruiser bike to other global markets, including India, later this year. The new Kawasaki Eliminator 400 retains old-school styling and will be available in two trims, standard and SA. The base variant is available in two Uber Cool paints, metallic flat spark black and pearl robotic white. The premium or the SE variant is listed with only one color choice, metallic matte carbon gray with flat ebony. The Eliminator model, which is a competitor of the Royal Enfield Super Meteor 650, comes with a round LED headlight, a bulky fuel tank, chopped fenders, a single-pot instrument cluster, a side-slung exhaust, a partially naked frame and alloy wheels. It also features a split-seat setup with a low seat height of just 735mm, which makes it one of the most attractive cruiser models. The motorcycle is adjustable with a maximum height of 765mm and a minimum height of 715mm. In addition to these, the Eliminator SE variant includes a headlight cowl, front fork gaiters, and a two-tone seat. It also has a GPS-compatible drive recorder system and USB Type-C power socket, both of which are water-resistant. Looking at the suspension setup, the Kawasaki Eliminator is equipped with telescopic front forks and dual rear shocks, while its braking system consists of a single front and rear disc with ABS. The front wheel rides on an 18-inch alloy, while the rear one is mounted on a 16-inch alloy. The new Kawasaki Eliminator is powered by a 398 cubic centimeters parallel twin liquid-cooled engine, similar to the Ninja 400. The 2024 Honda Shadow Aero Classic Classic cruisers are so popular because they're so comfortable, the low seat and low center of gravity, the laid-back riding position, the no-rush way they make their power. And our Honda Shadow Aero hits it out of the park on all counts, and throws in the kind of reliability, fit, finish, and overall refinement nobody else can match. Case in point, every 2024 Shadow Aero gets a larger rear disc brake that not only works great but integrates into the bike's look flawlessly. Add in the performance our three-valve cylinder head design brings, maintenance-reducing features like shaft final drive, and the Aero's classic good looks and you can see why this bike is so popular. For 2024, it's available in two versions, the Shadow Aero and the Shadow Aero ABS, with anti-lock brakes. Either way, it's a bike that brings old-school cool to your garage. Comfort Comfortable saddle, broad, low-slung solo seat features a detachable passenger seat. Low seat height, the Aero's low seat height makes flat footing it at stoplights or in parking lots a breeze. And the Aero's narrow seat slash tank junction makes it feel even lower. Drive train. 5-speed transmission, wide ratio 5-speed transmission lets you cruise the boulevard at a low, unhurried pace, yet allows you to hop on the highway without revving the engine through the roof. Shaft Final Drive, clean, efficient, proven, and low maintenance. Shaft Final Drive is the perfect choice for a machine like this, and for riders who pile on the miles. You never have to worry about lubrication or adjustment out on the road. And an added plus, it helps keep your bike cleaner, too. Performance. 
V-twin engine, nothing pumps out the torque like a big V-twin. 2024 BMW R18 Roctane When BMW first introduced the R18 Cruiser in 2020, the brand made no secret of its intent to create an entire platform using the 1,802 cubic centimeters big boxer powered cruiser as its foundation. The bikes we've seen in the intervening three years have been mostly incremental evolutions thereof, the bolt-on special classic here, which added a shield and saddlebags, the fairing equipped are 18B and its full dress cousin, the transcontinental, over there, and the usual random custom one-offs and concept bikes from various builders sprinkled arbitrarily in between. Now Bavaria is rolling out a fifth addition to the family, the 2024 R18 Octane, which it calls a cruiser, a bagger, and everything in between. The new model brings a different stance with a greater emphasis on styling, featuring elements like a 21-inch front wheel, integrated hard bags, mid-rise handlebars, and a blacked-out drivetrain. In brief, the Roctane feels like a stripped-down R18B with a minimal wardrobe and a bit more attitude. It loses the handlebar-mounted fairing and gives the integrated hardbags a more up-to-date color scheme, read, no pinstripes, while the front wheel grows to a custom-sized 21 inches and the rear hoop to 18 inches. Other current styling trends can be spotted in the briefer front fender, no doubt to better expose the distinctive cast alloy wheel and a subdued, blacked-out treatment on the drivetrain, which includes a dark chrome header and straight exhaust. But underneath the visual sleight of hand, the foundational elements of the R18 platform remain on the Roctane, with the air-slash-oil-cooled 1,802 cubic centimeters engine still taking up most of the canvas, buttressed by the same double-loop steel tube frame found on the R18 and R18 Classic, with an exposed nickel-plated drive shaft and the rigid-style rear all carrying on the tapered streamliner design language BMW Motorrad laid down in 2020.